Welcome back to Lucas Oil Stadium for the Big Ten Media Days. It is great to be here and joined by Marcelino McCray Ball, right? McCray. Get that out. McCray? Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. McCray Ball. I had never said that before. I never yeah. noticed that. Is that a recent change? Um, well, yeah, I guess the recent change as far as putting it on my jersey, uh, 2019 year. Um, it's my mom's last name and Ball's my dad's last name. And I just, you know, Speaking of names on jerseys, great thing to bring up. I know football and basketball is a big difference, but getting the names back on their jerseys, yeah. the year you didn't have them, it was, for us, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. It, was uh, it was hell. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got nines out there, two nines. Every, I'm like, oh, who, what, Penix is playing defense? What's yeah, going on, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was a, it was a hectic year, but, um, I mean, the message behind it was just Coach Allen just wanted to emphasize playing more so for, for Indiana. Yeah, obviously, we play for the people, behind, uh, you know, at home and everything like that for our last name and stuff like that, but he just wanted to – you know, put that emphasis on you're, you're here, you're playing for Indiana as a collective. 11 on defense, 11 on offense, 11 on special teams. Speaking of it, man, uh, the season's upon us, and Indiana is being talked about as one of the top three te teams in the Big Ten East, uh, one of the toughest divisions in all of college football. Not something that I think that anybody that is on, that a senior or on this team right now really could have imagined, I think, four years ago, but it is here, and it is real. Uh, yeah. And this season, Indiana is expected to compete with Ohio State and Penn State and, and those types of teams. Yeah. Uh, that's got to be a, an exhilarating thing for you because you're one of the leaders of, of getting in the end yeah. of this point. Yeah, well, I mean, that's I mean, when you talk, speak on the seniors and, and uh, older players like myself that's been here for long or Ty Fryer, Mike, um, I mean, that's what we expected. That's why we came here. We knew where we were when we came in as freshmen or when we was in high school and, and where Indiana was on the ranking on the totem pole and stuff like that. But. You know, we came here to make that change, and 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 we expected to be where we are today, as far as you know, top three in the East. So, and be going against Ohio State's, the the Michigan State's, and all the other great teams um, from the on the Big Ten East. Um, but yeah, man, like that's what we trained for. That's what we were hard for, and we're here. And now we just have to keep that uh that edge for sure. It's been a grind. Uh, you talk about football, there's probably no sport that is more of a grind through four or five years, how long you're in a, at, a, at a place. But talk all the things you've gone through to get to this point and where you are now and this season that lays ahead of you guys, there's never been more of an opportunity for Indiana than there is this upcoming season. Oh, for sure, man. It's, it's right in front of us. You know, coming off that 2020 year, uh, I'll start with the 2019 year. Coming off that 19 year, uh, we ended off – you know, on a sad note, uh, losing to the great the Tennessee team and um, Tax Slayer Bowl. Then 2020, you know, it was ups and downs, obviously, for everyone across the country. Um, but we made it happen. Um, we had one little L to uh, – one, one loss to Ohio State, um, taking us away from the, the opportunity to play in the Big Ten Championship. Um, and then we also took another L to um, Ole Miss. However, we made that transition that we knew we could compete and win. You know, we used to be in that stuck just competing and being okay with losing at, at a certain point, you know, years before. But now we're competing and winning. You know, we're competing and, and giving our all every time. So, I mean, that, that's what we are now. And, and now that we came off that year, we expect to just do more and just do exactly what we've been doing, working hard, you know, being consistent, having vigorous training and just working at it. Yeah. Name, image, likeness. Uh, new to college sports. Yeah. Uh Football, there's so many guys on the team. It's, it's a, probably a little harder, but is that anything that the, is it, you've been able to to <laughs> look at or expand on? <laughs> um, no, I've, I haven't really expanded on it. To be honest with you, um, you know, see uh, a poster of Marcelino somewhere, a billboard. <laughs> you got a billboard coming into town? <laughs> no, nah, man, I, I've really, honestly, I've not really been focused on. It. I haven't um, really given much thought um, for two reasons. You know, I'm, I'm uh, just just focus on the season for sure. And uh, I just feel like if things will come, it'll come. I'm not trying to chase it for sure because I don't want to get, you know, sidetracked with the NIL, think about all this. So, man, I'm just trying to worry about grinding, you know, uh, just just being back with my team. Man, I lost last year. You know, everything guys did last year, I was a part of it, <laughs> but I wasn't right. a part of it. So um, just having that in the back of my head every day, NIL, you know, it's not really my focus. My focus is to get back on that. Field. Well, three other letters, ACL. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about those three letters. Yeah. That's probably the most common injury in all of football. But coming back from that and having to deal with that, how mentally, 
physically, how hard has that been on you? He's talking, that's a grind itself. So I'll put it from this perspective, man. Um, so I tore mine on a Monday. Saquon Barkley tore his on a Sunday. And I think Odell tore his a few time, a few months later. I it wasn't difficult from that perspective because <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, I, I'm in college. I have no money. You know, these guys are millionaires. So if they're getting up and grinding every day, I got to. I have no choice. And what also made it better, I had two other teammates that we had the same the surgery on the same day on October 25th. Um, Sam Dugstrip and Khalil Benson. They're both freshmen. And just having that surgery, you know, I tore mine first and then Khalil came and tore his and then Sam tore his for a third time. He's a freshman. And so having our surgery the same day and just being on that same level playing field, regardless if I was a six-year senior, you know, freshman all maker, all these accolades in, in, next to these two freshmen, we're on the same playing field. We we have to learn how to, you know, grind and get our, our, our legs under us. And so that, it, it made it it made it easy. It was hard nights for sure, hard days for sure, but it still made it easy to have guys on the same, like with me along the way and also having guys where, you know, we all aspire to be as college athletes. You know, we, I don't help anyone tear their ACL, but for, you know, take one and, and, and all the other guys, like Nick, a lot of guys tore the ACL in the NFL, but for those guys that tear it and, and just to see them and how they attacked it, it made me attack mine the same way, maybe even more to grind. And also then watch the guys go through the season and do what they did and they was balling. I'll tell you, like maybe week three or week four, I was maybe three months out. I was already ready. I was looking up. <sighs> Like literally, can I come back from ACL month four? I, I swear, I was literally in bed. I was listen. I couldn't watch the game. I had to listen to it, play for play. And Taiwan Mullen just got another pick, and we was getting picks left and right. I was like, man, I can get a pick out there. So I, I, I wanted to get out there and play. And I was like, on month three or four, and I was already trying to figure out, can I play like cover four? Can I play, you know, cover three? Like I, I can't. I probably can't do man to man or anything, but I could be a little run stopper for sure. I can with one little leg. But I mean, that, that showed you just like, man, I was ready to go out there. And so now. I am on um I'll be on month nine on the twenty fifth. I'm just uh I'm 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 pretty much back. I'm ninety nine percent. I'm ready to be back with my team and um you know to, to be able to be utilized like I used to be. So Indiana defense, uh, you're, you're a I, it's easy to see why you're a captain on this team and a leader. How important is that to you? How important do you take that role uh, addressing? Because each year you got another group of. Guys. guys that are coming in that have to be indoctrinated into yeah. to the culture, to to what's going on, uh, to to the the, the picture, uh, what you guys are, are trying to get to. Yeah. That's how important you take that leadership role. Man, it's, it's definitely important. It took me it took me a minute to understand the uh, the reality of like you know how important being a captain is, how important being a team leader itself. Because you know you don't have to be a captain to be a leader. You know. Um, there's freshmen that, that, are, that are technically leaders that can be leaders, you know, that just know the way, know the route, and can pull somebody along, you know. So in my position, man, I, I, I take it with a lot of pride for sure um, to to bring guys on and bring freshmen along. I mean, you can ask around, man. Like, I'm always around freshmen. I'm all around all types of classes and just making sure, you know, they, they doing what they're supposed to do. And I'm not, like, aggressive or anything like that. I'm just I'm, – I'm head, I'm, I'm head for it, man. I'm – Whatever time Coach Allen say, you know, I'm repeating it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I take what is it about there. Coach Allen? I mean, I I know, but – and there's so many people home, and you, you can see it. And I think it's you can see it so much that you can actually feel it. But if you're around <laughs> him, you can definitely feel it. Yeah. But you can almost feel him through the TV. Yeah. It's that <laughs> penetrating. It yeah. really is. Man, what you see through the TV – I'm sorry. To no, it's what it. What you see through the TV, that's, that's what it is, man. That's what we – it's every day. It's face-to-face from, from our perspective, man. He real. He got the energy. And he sat down at everyone's, uh, you know, kitchen's um, – everyone's living room when they were in high school making that transition to college. And what he told us then – it, it was no lie. It was no facade, nothing fake about it. It was authentic. It was what he said he was going to do then and what he was about then, you know, uh, recruiting us to Indiana University when we got here is what we is what he said. What's your vision of success for this season? Man, big 10 champs, man. <laughs> no, no, no line, no, no facade is big 10 champs. You get Ohio State at home. You got a lot of before you get there. There was a, you got to open the season at Iowa. Yeah. Uh, that's Coach Allen about that. That's that's a 
tough way to open any season on the road, period. But a conference game at Iowa, a team that is always as consistent as anybody, 80,000 people are going to be there. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a tough way to open the season, but it's what you got to do. How important and preparation for that game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We got to prepare hard. I mean, we all, like I say, like I, I, uh, in the spring, I wasn't doing spring ball. So all I was doing was just trying to just watch film, just study, 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 understand things, you know, understanding the defense that we had. Like, it's the same defense. We changed a few things up. But as well as, you know, just get a hint at, uh, you know, Iowa from the previous year and just you know, kind of see, uh, you know, how, they, how they're looking, man. They look good, man. They We got to be prepared. And, and, you know, for us to already have been, you know, watching film, just trying to get – get uh you know you know late late later foundation of how we're gonna plan against iowa man and it's gonna be a great team a great game because they're a great team for sure and we're at iowa man that stadium is nice man and the the schedule itself is phenomenal uh, i was talking talking to coach allen you've got a sense well before you come back from iowa and you have an idaho team that's yeah. coached by petrino which you know we all know petrino's have been in the football for so long right. then you have Cincinnati that yeah. I, when that game was scheduled, I promise you, no one knew that this was good, a potential top 10 matchup. Yeah, yeah, and that's sure. what this is. Uh, and the schedule itself is phenomenal. Like I said, then we haven't even gotten to the rest of the big 10 East uh, Ohio states down the road and all that. You have to travel to Michigan and yeah. Penn state play yeah. those games with fans this year. Last year, you didn't have the fans out there. You've got to go to Michigan, like I said, with 110,000 people. It's going to be a very difficult environment. All those environments are very difficult. How do you all deal with that and trying to get where you're trying to get to? Earmuffs and blinders. Keep Is it that there. simple, really? Earmuffs and blinders, man. Is it really? I mean, man, if, if, you got, if, if you got to go, if you want to walk right over there, you got to go to the bathroom right now. And you got to go to the bathroom real bad. You, 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 you. <laughs> Focus on that bathroom, you, you right? You just use and the somebody best. Come, and somebody come to you, hey, 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 earmuffs and blinders, ain't it? You got to go. So that's that's it. That is the best, <laughs> absolute best analogy I could have thought of because you're right. There's nobody stopping me, uh, especially when you get to my age. I got news for you. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, what's next for you after this? I know your goal is the NFL. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's everyone's goal for sure, Um, you know, being a college athlete. But, I mean, my – I. Being, if you would have asked me that when I was a freshman, sophomore, I probably would have been, yeah, NFL, NFL. But, you know, as I've been here for a while, and I'm just soaking it in, man. Like, I'm here at Big Ten Media Day, man. This, you know, this is cool. So, man, my, you know, my days at IU, there's, there's no coming back to IU. They, NCAA is not granting me a seventh year. So, <laughs> you know, coming to that realization, it's like, man, it's my sixth year, man. It's, it, regardless of what happens over with, I'm just – making the days count for sure. You know, the friendships, the relationships, all that. I'm soaking it all in, taking photos, videos, all that. And what happens after? I don't know what happened after. You, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You may plan for tomorrow. I may plan for tomorrow. We may plan for six months from now. But still, when tomorrow comes, something may come, you know, and, and change that whole that whole direction where you want to go. So knowing that, based on, you know, my, you know, just, just living in life, Man, I'm just making the days count. I'm I'm on what you know. I don't even know what today is. Friday. I'm on Friday at nine thirty. I'm on Friday at nine thirty right now with you. When you first came to Indiana, and now, could you imagine where this program has? I mean, it's been, yeah, it's, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm getting excited. <laughs> but man, when I was training, okay, you asked me about my personal question, right? When I was training to come to Indiana and I was signed and everything, vividly, I remember running the track. You know, my dad had me running 400s, 300s, all that, training vigorously. I was picturing, at the time, it was Jabril Peppers. But in the grand scheme of things, it was Ohio State, it was the Michigan, it was the Michigan State, it was the Penn State. And I would act like when I'm running the 400s, I was acting like I was hawking down Jabril Peppers or, or, or JT Baird and all these guys. In the grand scheme of things, I'm, I'm, I was chasing down those people, but I'm chasing down those teams as well. And so it took five, five years to, to finally break down barriers and, and, and do those, com complete those missions, but it's still there. Like, that, that, that's still there. And more so, although, like, we're all a team, we're collective and everything like that, for me to not physically be on the team and be a part of those wins last year 
or those close games last year, it's like I still ain't, you know, a part of with Indiana football. I didn't, you know, beat Indi- uh, Penn State and all these things. What so, do you hope so that you taking- showed the teammates last year when you weren't, when you couldn't play, I hope, that you were? I hope to show them solid action. Those two words, solid action. I hope to show them solid action. I'm solid and I'm about that action. Indiana going undefeated this year? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Put pressure on you, man. Marcelino Ball joining us. I cannot thank you enough, man. Appreciate Best of luck job. this year. Uh, I hope it does come true for you. Undefeated, see, that would be great, a Big sure. Ten championship. This is where the season starts in the Big Ten, yeah. and this is where it ends yeah. for the Big Ten championship. Yeah. Uh, two teams will play here for that, and uh, the road goes through Columbus for Indiana without question. Uh, are you looking forward to that game? Actually, no, you have them at home or other. Uh, yeah. But that game is is got. I know Coach Allen does not go forward. Right, you can't right, right, look right. ahead, right. Uh, and I understand that. But that's some speak. There's no way that that's not in there. That you're not thinking about that. You're not thinking because that's that's a that's a, a mark. Of, I got to go back just to be to, to not have been playing last year. I just got to go back to that because I'm literally looking at every game. Iowa, Idaho. Cincinnati, so on and so forth. I ain't looking at Ohio State, and I gotta go past all these other teams first. That's 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 hustling backwards. I gotta go, boom, boom, boom. So I'm looking at, I'm looking at it straight forward. I'm not looking no, and I'm not like, you know, overthinking or underthinking Ohio State and, and you know their team and everything like that. I'm just <laughs> two plus two is four. Well, those, those eight, you know, I'm going in order. <laughs> I'm going in order, man. <laughs> I, it's it's amazing. I mean, it's unflappable. It, it is really amazing because it is the same thing. It doesn't matter who you talk to, Coach Allen, players, it doesn't matter. It's the same mantra, and it really is. Uh, all the time in sports, you hear the things, oh, they, they talk this and this and that. And right. that. I, if you're around this program, you can see, and especially when you talk to the players like yourself, it is the same. It is real. I for mean, sure. it is game for game. It is your muffs and blinders. Yeah. That stuff is really yeah, real. And, real. <laughs> and and I know that people hear that and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it is real. And But that's not an easy thing to do. And that's mm-hmm. probably the hardest thing for people to do in life. I mean, just in g- general life and work, whatever, it doesn't matter. To, to not put something ahead of you that you – before you get to the, the next step, but yeah. that is the key to success for what you guys are trying to do. Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, it's the keys. You said it. I ain't got to repeat nothing. You said it. <laughs> Smartest man I've talked to today, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Marcelino Ball <laughs> joining us here on Indiana Sports Beat. Cannot wait uh, for the season to get started. Looking forward to it. Marcelino, best of luck, man. We I will be there it. to cover it all for you. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. Marcelino Ball will be back with Indiana Sports Beat right after this.